The Paranoid Style in American Politics is an essay by American historian Richard J. Hofstadter, first published in Harper's Magazine in November 1964, it served as the title essay of a book by the author in the same year. Published soon after Senator Barry Goldwater had won the Republican presidential nomination over the more moderate Nelson A. Rockefeller, Hofstadter's article explores the influence of conspiracy theory and movements of suspicious discontent throughout American history. Background The essay was adapted from a Herbert Spencer lecture that Hofstadter delivered at Oxford University on November 21, 1963. An abridged version was first published in the November 1964 issue of Harper's Magazine, and was published as the titular essay in the book The Paranoid Style in American Politics, and Other Essays, 1964. The essay was originally presented when the Conservatives, led by Arizona Senator Barry Goldwater, 1909-1998, were on the verge of taking control of the Republican Party. Historical Themes Recurring Paranoia in American Politics In developing the subject, Hofstadter initially establishes that his use of the phrase paranoid style was a borrowing from the clinical psychiatric term paranoid to describe a political personality, and acknowledges that the term is pejorative. Psychological projection is essential to the paranoid style of U.S. politics. Historical Applications Historians have also applied the paranoid category to other political movements, such as the Conservative Constitutional Union Party of 1860. Hofstadter's approach was later applied to the rise of new right-wing groups, including the Christian right and the Patriot movement. Aspects of Hofstadter's thesis have been challenged by Samuel Decanio's 2013 article Populism, Paranoia, and the Politics of Free Silver, which argues that instead of being a paranoid delusion, the populists' position regarding bankers' use of bribes to influence 19th-century monetary policy was largely correct. Decanio offers evidence that the Coinage Act of 1873, legislation that eliminated bimetallism and which the populists denounced as the crime of 73, was influenced by bribes that William Ralston, president of the Bank of California, paid to Henry Linderman, director of the Philadelphia Mint. Decanio's article includes a copy of the actual check Ralston used to pay Linderman, indicating the populists' claims were far more accurate than Hofstadter ever suspected. Legacy In a 2007 article in Harper's, Scott Horton wrote that the paranoid style in American politics was one of the most important and most influential articles published in the 155-year history of the magazine. Laura Miller writes in Salon.com that the paranoid style in American politics reads like a playbook for the career of Glenn Beck, right down to the paranoid's quality of pedantry and heroic strivings for evidence. The garage rock band The Paranoid Style formed in 2012, is named after the article. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.